Rob's round table, all up in your grills. How you doing, guys? Not everyone, everyone doing good. Nick O right here, the man, the myth, the legend. Feeling fantastic, bringing the O, O, O face oh, to you. he did it. He did it. We love when you do that, Nick O. Wide receivers, early ADP. This is off NFC National Cha Fantasy Championships. Uh, I got to stumble in my words there. I'm really bad at talking. How do I host a pod? Right? Wow. You're not. You're it's because my body type. Yeah. I'm so nice. He's eye like, candy. They're like, look at <laughs> I can't. We could not do audio only because no. you wouldn't get all the handsome this. shit, man. Right? Like, they're um, like the man of white presentation over here. All right. We're going to get into the wide receiver ADP talk early on. A couple things. Per use. This is a good one. Ben Simmons, that turd, uh, he released like a workout kind of like a, you know, showcase of him working out in the gym. And he released a picture of him like shooting but all buff. And he released two of them. And the second one uh, he didn't realize was like totally photoshopped. He shouldn't have released it. Or they released the other one that was real and it fucked his photoshop. But he looks like Hulk Hogan. And like it is unreal. He's like huge. Any relation? Dude. No. Okay. I don't think so. But, like, then it came out, and the next one came out, and he had to, like, like say it was an accident. Dude, I'm going to put the picture up here. It's hilarious. Like, Ben Simmons is a clown. Yeah. He is the Michael Thomas of NBA players. All right. Wide receiver, ADP, NFC. Let's get into it right now. You ready to go? I got one more little sidebar. What do you got? One what do you more got? Oh, he's sidebarred my sidebar. Right? If we're, if we're throwing NBA uh, what ifs yeah. and Ben Simmons or whatever, uh, you saw, was it Jack Jones, corner for New England, uh, tweeted out at John ja Morant, you're an idiot, mm -hmm. can't believe you're doing this shit, putting your money at risk, like have someone be head of security, have someone get a concealed carry yeah. for you. Like if you think you need guns around you, what's he going to do? Tries and takes two fucking guns on an airplane, man. For real? Gets arrested. Oh. After he tweeted out throwing shade at John Morant, like, oh, you're a fucking idiot. Man. Have your buddy do this. And then his dumbass tries to get on a plane in Boston with two guns. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Practice moron. what you preach, motherfucker. What? English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? <laughs> yeah. Stupid shit. All right. Wide receivers. We're getting into it right now. Justin Jefferson leads the pack at one. Not much to say about that. Pretty easy. He's wrong. awesome. He's wrong. great. No, it's, it's wrong, wrong, huh? He shouldn't be one. Ooh, who should be one? He's not my one. Who's I'm one? not doing it. Who's I'm taking, one? I'm taking fucking Chase, man. In full PPR, though? Yep. That's a wrong. That's wrong. You're wrong. Wrong, wrong. All right. Um, we, we have to come up with some form of let's make a bet when we disagree on something. Like, put it on the board. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, like, whatever the consequences later like i don't know what the consequence should be like uh, yeah suck each other's dick that's a little more than i was thinking it was like well, water balloon don't lose the maybe, fucking bet like, although we both lose then because we're either you're sucking me or i'm sucking you no you, know, you don't you don't. would not suck me and you would not um be sucked, sucked by, by us that back i don't mean that you can't take that, that back it's it's it. It. well we're both we, probably... one of us gets to fuck the other one's wife no i'm still out on that man well i'm in so <laughs> still out on that uh, so you like Chase over Jefferson? I do, and that's one of those where I was gonna say like, put it on the board, man. Like, let's yeah. put that bet up. Like, put it I, on your wife. I, I will mean. put some bet out there that says yeah. okay. that Chase finishes ahead of Jefferson. Ah, full I like that. In fantasy points. Okay, Chase at two, obviously two point two. Tyree Kill is the third wide receiver at five. Cooper Cup is at six. Uh, Stefan Diggs ADP of nine, and we have CD Lamb rounding out the first round. Actually, it's CD Lamb at eleven, and AJ Brown at eleven point five. So we have all those guys in the first round. Jefferson, Chase, Tyreek, Cup, Diggs, Lamb, Brown. Let's well, just kind of, it's first round, right? It's almost whatever order you like. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually really into Cooper Cup at six just because I want. So the question for me is Cooper Cup or Tyreek Hill? They're like very opposite players, right? Yeah, you're going to take the big shots with Hill. You're going to take the safety with Cup. How do you want to construct your Even roster? though Tyreek Hill has become a PPR monster in the last couple of years, which is weird. But what about the latest uh, assault? He hit, no, he hit somebody he else. Right? He like, hit somebody else. That's what he does. I don't think it's going to matter because Tyreek Hill gets away with everything. I don't think he's he hit player. him. I think he like put hands on him. Right. right? Like, but he's got a big name. Yeah. Um, I just I see Tyreek Hill is safer. Believe it or not, I'm saying Tyreek Hill is safer. Cooper Cup has more upside just because we've seen what Cooper Cup did. So and you're saying touchdown upside or just, just total? Points. Fantasy yeah, because points we saw upside. Cooper Cup okay. last year actually average more points per game than he did in his MVP triple yeah, crown year. That was so crazy. So, like, in the seven games he played, he was actually doing better yeah. somehow. I want a shot at that. Like, that's where I'm going. Like Only if, show in town. And I'll take, legitimately the only show in town. I'll take him ahead of Hill because of it. And, and part of that is Waddle, and part of that is And age. And age. Yeah. Hill's a little older. He's known to have those hamstring injuries, and Cooper Cup had a fluke ankle injury last yeah. year. Pretty durable. You know, he's a gamer, dude. I like that. Yeah. Um, all right, so Stefan Diggs at the fifth receiver spot, ADP 9. I love me Stefan Diggs, but this is a little high. 
He's not on the field enough is my problem, and he's bitching about the same thing. Like, he thinks he should have a voice in the play calling. Gabe Davis plays more than him. At the end of the day, a receiver should not have a voice in the play calling. I'm sorry, Diggs. Like, eat a bag of dicks. Like, receivers (laughs) don't get a say in that. Like... It's quarterbacks, it's coordinators, right? Like, that's that's where I'm going to stop with the players yeah. that have a say. A wide receiver, you go on, you do your fucking job to the best of your ability. If you're not on the field all the time, maybe you're not running your hardest route all the time. And also, maybe they're trying to save you. Yeah, whatever. 70% is enough. Whatever right? it is, yeah. There's... A.J. Brown barely plays. He's like a 65 to 70% guy. But they see but those he runs targets. around every time yeah. he's out there. They don't want him blocking. No. Even though he's a good blocker, it's just... He's injury prone. I'm, uh, dude, I'm totally with you. You're saving the injury. What do you think about Diggs? But it's too high for me. Yeah, man. he's safe. I mean, he's safe. He's he's guaranteed 90 catches, 1,200 yards, eight touchdowns. Yeah. Uh, C.D. Lamb, 11. Uh, believe it or not, C.D. Lamb had 107 catches last year, dude. And we, as a consensus uh, pod, whatever, uh, Rob's Round Table, whatever you want to call us, uh, are higher on C.D. Celine Dion. Yeah. I'm, I'm stuck on Celine Lamb, Dion. Baby. I am too. I, I like Celine him. Dion. Uh, not actual music and or her. He got I just screwed on a lot of touchdowns last year. I, I do recall, I think it was the Thanksgiving game. It's all coming back to me. He caught three touchdowns oh, dude, and had crazy. zero. Yeah. Like One was like was barely crazy. his foot was out. Another one he bobbled it and like he ended up having zero. And Brandon and Cooks only... He had seven only, last year. Yeah, Cooks only takes ten. yards away, right? That's all Cooks takes away. Yeah. And he takes away attention. You yeah. take away his safety. Schultz is gone, dude. C.D. Lamb's a stud that plays the slot. It's, we believe it's in built Dak, in. Right? We think Dak's a value. Right. So Yeah, give me C.D. Lamb. Yep. Uh, A.J. Brown, no. I still um, got trust issues with Hurts. Smith is taking the next yeah, step. No. You don't know. I don't know. Too high. I mean, he, he had 12 touchdowns, and the team threw 20 last year. That's not happening again. Now, will, will yeah. the team throw 28? Will Hurts throw 28? Should, Probably. Should. But he might still only have 12. But same with Buffalo, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, I just like Josh Allen over Hurts. And A.J. Brown's a great player. I love A.J. Brown. He's known to be a little injury prone. And I'm not, like, out on this. I'm just saying, like, it's not a slam dunk for me. It's not a hot where, pick. But this is where it falls off. Because, you don't you don't go 6-12 to 12 making that So pick, this is right? the first round. This is where it falls off to me and wide receiver in, in a weird way because you have St. Brown at 14, Adams at 15, Garrett Wilson at 16, Jalen Waddle at 20, and Devontae Smith at 22. These are not the same kind of names. I mean, clearly it's the next round, but these aren't so, even close to so the same crazy, names. Man. Same Brown, man, I love it. He's just not that good of a player. I, it's so hard He's for me not. to figure out receiver this year, and it makes me want to wait on it even more than I normally would. Or go early. But are you going to take St. Brown over AJ Brown? No. Okay. Not like that. You, you have a very solid line yeah. right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The only one the question is Adams, right? Because yeah, like, it, it we is, don't know. Man. We got to see what Jimmy Garoppolo is. Like, I want Adams over St. Brown. A right? healthy like, Jimmy G is one of the quickest releases here's the in thing the is, NFL, dude, man. And Adams gets open. I like Adams right there. I think, but he's not a if value. he has a third stringer playing quarterback. Remember that? Remember that fucking uh, if it's DeAndre Garopp- Hopkins if it's game? Garoppolo all year. I think Adams well, will never be Garoppolo all year. <laughs> I mean, if you get nine games of Garoppolo, if anybody I should mean, know that it should be me, right? Yeah, it's just so the guy for me is Garrett Wilson. And I've been really warming to him. He is at 16. I almost want Garrett Wilson over A.J. Brown, dude. Because there's not a lot of competition. Yeah, you have Lazard. You have McCall Hardman. But, like, no tight end. Aaron Rodgers. And he is the guy. And what, is it, what does Aaron Rodgers do with his guys? Goes to his guys. He, guy. he also he sets Adams. them up, dude. Mm-hmm. He gives them the hot routes. He gives them those looks. Boom, screen. And I know Garrett Wilson is an Antonio Brown clone. The guy is amazing in the open field. He's going to get you 12 yards when he should have six. And he can go deep. But Give my, me Garrett Wilson, baby. My problem, I completely agree with what you're saying. My problem is I want the rest of the fantasy world to sleep a little on Wilson and they're not, not see what we're seeing. Yeah. And unfortunately, they're not. And the reason is there ain't shit else. Like, that's the problem right now. Yeah, after him, you got Jalen Waddle and Devontae Smith. Jalen Waddle's a two on his team. Wide receiver number two's on their team. And yeah. both of them, actually. Yes. And good players. But are they better than, than fucking Garrett Wilson? I don't so think to so, me, dude. That's where I draw my line. Right. It's the top right. ten wide receivers after Wilson. I got to get one of those, and I got to get one of the early running backs. Like mm-hmm. I feel like you got to go receiver, running back, or running back, receiver, whatever yeah. order it happens. You get one of the two. In, you have to do that. You cannot go quarterback or tight end in your first two picks, or you're going to regret it. Because when you get into the third, fourth, fifth yeah. round, a receiver and running back this year, it's sketchy. You as definitely fuck. cannot go RB, RB this year. No, uh, you can go wide receiver, wide receiver, and then and then go receiver again or tight end or quarterback, and then get your Damian Harris, Swift, those guys, and go for some upside at running back. But we're going to get into these later receivers. You can't do that because 
It's not like it was. It's weird. Like, the, the top end guys are good, but there's so many guys now. And, like, I don't see a lot of upside in the later guys. So, uh, but next. But, like, 11 through What do you think about Waddle and Smith? Waddle 11 and Smith. through 25 are practically the same fucking exactly. guy. Exactly. Like, like that's That's yeah. my problem. They're all wide receiver two, like, two minuses. What do you think about Waddle and Smith? Who do you like better? Uh, I think Waddle has more upside. I think Smith's safer. I like the offense in Philly better, so I'm going to go with Smith. And I think we haven't seen Smith's upside yet. I think we've seen the best out of Waddle with Tua, honestly. And then you're trusting Tua to stay healthy, too. Yeah, that's a, and that's a little bit go. of a concern there. Where Hurts did it, and they're a more prolific offense, so I'm going Smith. Do you like either of them at their ADP? Yeah, I'll take them both. Yeah, at 22? I would, man. Safe. Um, I took Waddle what I thought was too early last year, and turns out I was right. Like, I was okay where I took him. Um, and I was a little scared when I did it. Like, I walked away from the draft, and I was like, fuck, did you just do? Yeah. Uh, and then I'm like, oh, well, this ain't so bad. Uh, all right, moving on here. Chris Olave at 25, T. Higgins at 27, DK Metcalf at 29. Like Olave, his advanced numbers, all the geeks are just jerking off over that shit. I like it. Uh, but what if Michael Thomas is healthy? There you go. I mean, that's a big what if. I'm, but but uh, it's there. It is, you, it is, is a Is he going to be the number one over a healthy Michael Thomas? No. 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 And that's still like a... What do you think the odds are Michael Thomas comes back to 90% of himself? Good. 40%? 50%? I think, I think, yeah, I think it's over 50%. You're talking to the biggest Michael Thomas guy I ever. Too like, I'm I know, Michael Thomas I know, somewhere. I know, I know. We just keep on getting cheated on by Michael oh, Thomas, and we're like, man. eventually he'll 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 commit to me. Like, Meanwhile, he's off on gangbang. You, know, you know what dude? we need? We need a like a Jerry Springer episode with Michael Thomas and like him telling us all the people he's cheating on us yeah, with. Like, like we need that fine. level of intervention. Uh, last Wednesday, I took it to Red Lobster, bro. <laughs> Because we like, we're do. not going to see it. No, we're time. not going to see it. We're, we're just going to be like, he really likes us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, T. Higgins next, 27. Now, T. Higgins, same situation as Waddle and Smith. I kind of pair them all together. T. Higgins is somehow crazy consistent. I was looking at his uh, his numbers. He has like 77 to 80 catches, 1,100 yards, and seven touchdowns every year. I'm ecstatic. Which is him nice. my wide receiver, too. Yeah, man. because it's what he is, wide receiver, it. too. Uh, and, and it's get a piece of the good offense, yeah. right? Like, and if Chase gets hurt. You get three weeks of wide receiver one, and it, it, other than that, though, you're getting like a high end wide receiver three, low end wide receiver two. But it's the safety, right? And like, do you want safety there at that point? And, though is the question. And Boyd is the guy I'm shooting on late too. I like Boyd. If I'm being honest, I like I want all three of those receivers from yeah. Cincy. They're, I'm higher than consensus on all of them, and it's because I love Joe Burrow. I love that offense. Yeah, I they're think gonna they throw, continue especially to take now, dude. Yeah. DK Metcalf. What do you think? Uh, Twenty nine. He's a badass, man. Like, I can't take anything away from him. But I think I'd rather take Lockett later. Or, or I'd rather take my shot on... Uh, you don't want a Smith, Smith He's going Jigba, way like, too fast. This is way he? Too early. Yeah, you don't want that. I haven't got that far down. But I yet. love DK, man. I mean, again, one of these years it has to happen. He has the most red zone targets every year. And if people like Geno, I'm not a big believer in Geno. I think he's worse than he was last year, but better than people think. But like six he, bad he years trusts and like him. three quarters of a good year on a run hey. first offense and fuck Seattle. You saw what he did the Niners in the playoffs though. Was it ten catches, two touchdowns, yeah, eighty and insane. ninety yards? I mean, that's what insane. he does. He's a great I player. I know. He just needs to get more of that fu mentality and saying I'm going to take it, and we'll see. But I love the player. The thing is, he's safe. Gino and he's the play safe calling. And he has upside. The play calling and Gino hold him back. Dude. So T Higgins, DK Metcalf. I'm taking the number one, man. Unfortunately, there you go. Team like I'm who has Metcalf. more upside, yeah. dude. Like, I'm, I'm, sh- yeah. I'm shooting my shot. Olave or Metcalf? You're still yeah. taking DK, son. I think DK's still too high. Is no. a crazy thing. I think Olave in the scrub division. Who's a better player oh, now? <laughs> Who's a better player? DK's a better player. Hunter, dude, he's one of the best players yeah. in the league. And yeah. if he ever does figure it out, right? And he's always been historically awful against zone. Right, he's a, that's why they play zone against him. He doesn't know how to settle down in it. This is his, his fifth year, fourth year. I mean, dude, it's been a while. If he figures out zone, he's he has not figured it out yet. He's not. Going oh, he will. To. I don't think so. Well, I guess that's an argument there. Okay, I, your guy. Next, next, next group here: Debo Samuel, thirty-seven; Keenan Allen, thirty-nine; Jerry Judy, forty; and we'll lump in Hopkins at forty as well. Debo, thirty-seven, first pick of the fourth round. What do you think about that full PPR? There's, the Niners guy. There's yes, the Niners guy. There's slight injury concern. There's McCaffrey. <laughs> uh, the offense runs through McCaffrey. You don't know what you're getting at quarterback. Like there's a lot of question marks there. But 
Um, you see him produce. You see Kyle Shanahan make the most uh, out of his weapons. Not last year. He didn't end produce. of the end of the day. Uh, I'm passing on Debo right here because I'm targeting Ayuk. I think Ayuk is way undervalued right now. Right. And that's the guy that I think leads this team in receptions this year. Wow. So I'm going to say this. I like Debo more in best ball because he's going to oh, have yeah, his four awesome games. games. Yeah, and the rushing upside is nice. His, right? his, his week-to-week production is inconsistent yeah. as fuck. But if CMC gets down, it's almost weird that like his production is tied to a running back getting injured. That's yeah. that's who Debo is, though. But you still got Eli Mitchell. But it doesn't matter. Debo would get six carries instead of three, and those six carries yeah. are valuable because he averages 10 yards a carry. But He's going to have his fucking five touchdowns rushing, which, pair with his four receiving touchdowns, what he gets, nine touchdowns. Right now, like, mark it, mark it down, right? I'm saying it here now. Ayuk will lead this team in catches. All right, he, he would know. Uh, next guy, Keenan Allen, 39, full PPR. I love this. Dude, I love such this. Such a smooth route runner that gets open because of it. And he was he still great last volume. year. He's so safe. Coming back, he's, he's a value so every fucking year. I know, year. every year. Every single year is a value. He's going to average, you know, seven catches a so game. You know what? Now, how many games will he play is the question. Let's keep this to ourselves. You know, you know what? Don't get yeah, Allen the this. rest yeah, no, of the yeah, fantasy no, no, no. world's right. Yeah, Listen fourth round, them. I'll take him. Listen to all the other fantasy fucking humdrum Saying bullshit. Saying he's done. Uh, repeaters, right? The, yeah. uh, hit the fucking copy, print, copy, print, bullshit ass podcast fucking you assholes. listen to. Go listen to them. Leave Keenan the fuck alone. We're going to take him. I'm out. He's ours. I own him. Uh, Jerry <laughs> Judy, 40. And this is a tough one because the end of the year when they got rid of that fucking mutant, what was the fucking guy's name? For the mutant. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name again? Uh, Nathaniel Hackett. I'm retarded. That fucking guy? The guy that can't hack it? He sucked. Uh. We saw Jerry Judy have a three touchdown game. We saw him have a 170 yard game. So, he, wait, 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 time out, time out. If Hackett sucks, why are you so high on Wilson? That's his coordinator now. Oh, he's a coordinator, not a head coach. <laughs> oh, okay. Just saying, we saw Jerry Judy play well last year. Yeah. He missed. He, he left two games real early, which kind of brought down his per game numbers. Mm-hmm. Dude, Jerry Judy, I, I I was all about him last year. He's he's a brittle piece of shit. I wasn't about him coming in because of that, and I was nervous the way he's built. Same thing with Devontae Smith, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I'm nervous about the way he's built. I'm a Cortland Sutton guy. Like I was a believer in Sutton. He and is I Kenny Galladay. I haven't now. seen him come back from that injury. No. And that's a, Galladay is a beautiful analogy. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think he's quite that immobile. Jerry Judy, what do you think? you like him or no? It's divisive, right? It could be go either way. Nope. nope. Out. You're I'm out. out. I'm letting it go right there, man. Ten picks later, sure. Uh, next round, sure. But right there, I'd like the guys after him. I'd rather take a chance on Amari them. Cooper, for instance. Yeah. Drake London, 45. Uh, I'm out on that. People love his metrics and all this shit. You know what? I'll take Kyle Pitts 20 picks later at tight end. If I'm going to go that route, because Kyle Pitts is a better player In Atlanta, at a more premium yeah. position... Fuck you, Drake London. DJ he's a, Moore. He's a good player. I still want He's him. a good player. DJ Moore, 46. Very weird. Very weird one because we don't have no idea what Chicago's going to do. No, you Bears don't. Bears fan. Uh, they don't throw the ball. Uh, I actually, the craziest thing I ever read, dude, is they uh, had the the lowest pass attempts since 1985. Mm-hmm. Or like 80. Dude, something crazy, crazy, dude. Really like 22 yeah. a game. Yeah. It was, it was, it was super it was, low. It was compounded by the fact the that. game. The pass plays they called mostly ended in scrambles and yep. sacks. Yep. So, like, they did call 32 of them. But, but they had one game where they threw, what, four passes or yeah. some shit? Like, but either way, dude, that's so low. So it low. Is. But you anticipate fields. And the Falcons, the the Falcons, same thing. So low. They drafted another offensive lineman high. They've added offensive weapons for They'll Fields. They'll throw more. Fields is another year in. I think they throw more. But you love DJ I'm Moore, a, I'm a more homer. Same. I end up with him every same. year in over half of my leagues. But man. what about here? I'll take it. It's more. I'm fucking homer, dude. I'm in. Like I think. I love I think Field steps takes the next step. I'm more out, the, but the allure is nice. So what if? All right, I got this huge what if for you here, right? What if Hopkins goes to the Bears? Well, then I'm out on more. Right there, right? I'm all out on you, Justin Fields. Are you in on Hopkins where he's at? No. No, no, if no, he no, goes no. to the Bears. No, I'm not in any receiver. You want both the of them dropping later? Way later. Okay. What are you talking about, dude? Justin Fields. I'd like his wondering. arm, but they're just not gonna throw the ball. Yeah. What if Hopkins and Cook come to the Bears? Okay, Jesus like, Christ. Like, you just slap yourself in the belly button? You're so excited? I'm jizzing all over the place, man. <laughs> Terry McLaurin, 49. I'm in on this one. McLaurin or DJ Moore? 
Scary Terry is a monster. You got to take he's, McCorn over DJ Moore, man. He, yeah, he's the number one in that offense. As much as I don't love Howell, he's I'm so still consistent, doing it. right? Yeah, he is. It's and, a t- no. Here's the crazy thing: is he essentially is the same numbers as T. Higgins? Correct me if I'm wrong. No, he's right there. Seventy-seven catches each year, a thousand or eleven hundred yards, and seven touchdowns. Why is Terry McLaurin going forty-nine, and why is T. Higgins going fucking twenty-two? I don't know. You see what I'm talking about? If I come away with McLaurin and Ayuk for my one and two, like I know I'm about to be in the well, fucking playoffs. Well, we'll talk about you later. But all right, Christian Kirk, fifty-one. Uh, full PPR, I'm kind of in, but I, I don't think it's great. No, it's too high. Too I high. Um, with uh, Ridley there, it's too high. Christian Watson at 53. She'll be the one in Green Bay, but I got no faith in love, and I'm just going to stay away from the receiver. More of a half-point PPR guy, though, because he's you know he's not going to have a lot of catches. Yeah. And he gets the end around. He's like the Chase Claypool role in Steelers. I like Watson, though. Uh, Chris Godwin, 55. This is a weird one because it's full PPR. I like it. I don't know who's playing quarterback, and they're all terrible. And what is the vision called again? The NFC Scrout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's tough. If you don't know what we're talking about, watch the Yeah, watch the previous one. Uh, Michael Pittman, 59. I love this, man. I love it. I like him as a player. I like the volume 59, potential. though. But I'm so scared they're not going to produce shit on that offense. They'll produce man. enough. You think so? He could have 70 catches, can't he? Yeah, he better. I suppose he should. That's what he needs at this he ADP. Should. Yeah, he should. And touchdown potential. He's a good player, jump ball guy. Come on, man. Uh, Mike Williams at sixty-one. I actually really like this one, just because this is his last year there. You're, you're upside twelve touchdowns. So Justin Herbert. For me right now, like we're looking at wide receiver twenty-six to like thirty-three. Got me pretty excited. If I can come away with two of those guys, like I'm feeling really good about yeah. it. Mm-hmm. And they're they're all I think kind of good values right in there. And they're completely interchangeable. Like you can make your argument for Godwin or Pittman. Yeah, or, Pittman's or 28, man. The next I mean, couple guys that we got coming up, I'm I'm willing to take yeah. those same ones. Right like Williams 29, Deontay Johnson, wide receiver 30, uh, ADP 63. So he else been, is there? Hey, I mean, ever since we did our, our episode where I was talking about Deontay Johnson and underdog, he's gone up fucking twenty he's picks. Climbed, anyway. Yep. So no one's watching the show. At least it's not coming on my YouTube <laughs> studio. It says I'm getting seventy views. By the way, if you're still watching this, like the video and subscribe, you pieces of shit. Because I'm putting a lot of work. We're sweating our ass out over yeah, here. It's eighty four degrees in here. And we love this anyway. I, I'm just it's a it's a soft threat. Yeah, you're not really um, a piece of shit. That's no, you're, I love you. You're still watching this. I, fuck it, I'll suck you. But, like, honestly, dude, like, come on. Support your boys, man. We're doing this for free. There's no ads on our channel because we're not monetized. It's nope. amazing. Nope. I got these lights going. Look how nice everything is, dude. It's so nice. Deontay Johnson, though, love it. Zero touchdowns last year. He's not going to have zero again. <laughs> he has to go up. He has to. He, he still had 86 catches yep. last year. Full yep. BBR. Love this yep. right here. I'm in I'm in on him uh, and Pickens. Yeah. Your next guy, uh, your well, next guy, your guy, Tyler Lockett, 31. I bet you love this. I do. I like Lockett and Ayuk love here. Uh, oh, Ayuk, 32. Yeah, so talk they're, about they're both of them. 64, right 66. Um, they are the wide receiver two technically on their team, but there's going to be weeks where they lead that team in targets mm-hmm. easily. And they're the safe play where Debo and DK are the big play. And so it's well if, put. if I'm going in what what am I at? sixth round now fifth round yeah um, if I'm taking two guys here that are gonna lead their team in targets for a week sign me up man sign me up baby Mike Evans at 33 this is ADP 71 I don't know about this one um, he's still Mike Evans he'll probably still have a thousand yards he has to right um, but he might not have any touchdowns and it's still Mike Evans I kind of like this if you want to wait a receiver. And if you if you say you you draft two running backs early, you take a premium tight end and a solid like Joe Burrow at quarterback. If he is your wide receiver two, even it's still Mike yeah. Evans. And I'll take Godwin or Evans right there. Either one, I'd I'd be fine with. Next guy, Traylon Burks, thirty four. I love him. ADP seventy one. This is weird. I'm you don't scared. like him at all. I'm scared of that passing offense. But there's man. nobody else. I don't care. I don't want any of it. He's decent. I'm scared. Sorry. So you think Mike Evans is just a sure thing? I got a Tennessee phobia. See, this is one of my downfalls in fantasy is I'll take Traylon Burks over Mike Evans. I wouldn't. Not even because everyone hates Mike Evans. If it wasn't Mike Evans, if it was receiver X that has Mike Evans pedigree, whatever yeah. situation, I want Traylon Burks because Traylon Burks has a monopoly in that passing game. Now, what is that passing game? It's not great. Yeah. Uh, and you assume he has a monopoly. I don't know. Well, we thought the same thing with Robert Woods last year there. It did not work no. out. So no. you're out on that. Yeah. Okay, this next guy you're probably out on too. Kadarius Tony, 35. 
<laughs> uh, you skipped ADP seventy three. A couple there. No, I didn't. You did. At least by my rankings. What? Pickens. Uh, Pickens and Brown. That's next after this. We're oh. going Tony thirty five. Fucking. All right, Tony. Adjust your Tony's filters. You on my list. I did. From well, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. <laughs> just, just uh, did. Maybe I didn't. Um, uh, either way. Yes. Either way. Um, I see the upside though. Yeah. Take a piece of Kansas City, man. But I, uh, I watched a little special on him the other day. And uh, reception, perception, shout out. Actually, don't because don't watch them. They're way better than us. <laughs> uh, he does not run any routes besides he's a running back, essentially. Yeah. Uh, yards after catch is great. He's very elusive. So in a standard or in a half, sure. Full PPR? Like, nah, I don't want Tony there, man. I'd He'll get those free touches, but he just doesn't run down the I'd field. rather go with one of the next two rookies that's coming up. That's George Pickens, second year, by the way, you fucking prick. 36. And Marquise Brown, 37. Oh, you're talking about the rookies. I'm sorry. This is going to call you a prick. That's okay. Uh, Pickens and Brown, 36, 37, 70. I love Marquise Brown here. And I get the offense is poo. Same thing with James Conner we talked about. Like, wow. that's so late. But, like, so late, dude. When the offense sucks and the team sucks and they're going to be down and they're going to have the worst record in the whole fucking NFL, they're going to be throwing the ball. I'd rather have that than Connor. I don't want the running back on that right. team. Well, Connor catches passes, though, and it's full PPR. But, like, even if he they shut him down week 10, you're going to get, like, wide receiver 2 plus. Well, two minus essentially, like high end three, low end two from him. Yeah. And once in a while, give me that. Hollywood's going to show out with a big play. Well, he does. Yeah. And if he gets hurt, he gets hurt. You're drafting him at the end of the wide receiver threes. And then Pickens, uh, we call him the uh, the black farmer around here, George Pickens. Uh, it's what he is. He's in the picture. And, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> Pickens. He sounds like a farmer, George Pickens. Okay. Doesn't sound like a farmer? Sure. Yeah, I'm drunk. Do you I'll like him? It. I, th- I thought you were making like some uh, racist comment about he picks cops. No, oh no, shit! Like, I gotta cut that's that. Where, where I, I gotta cut it. that. Like, that's where I was. Like, no, whoa, not whoa, cut the pickings. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa! I'm like, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> not that. No, it's because George Pickens. His name is George. Oh, Sounds okay. like the dude yes. in the the uh, what's that one fucking uh, painting? The uh, with Norman the, Rockwell's? No, there's a painting of uh, like a, a white dude and his wife. Like, oh, yeah, with the pitchfork. Yeah, yeah that's okay. the one. George okay. Pickens is in there. Oh, I don't know that. It should be. I don't know that. Yeah, it's called, this has got a famous name. I got gotcha. You like bad. Pickens? I see the crazy thing is earlier on in the draft season when I started underdog, Pickens was actually ahead of Deontay Johnson. That's crazy. I like either one. Take yeah. one of them. This is nice. Right? This like, value. Yeah, I'm fine with either one of them. Okay. No, the the rookies I'm talking about were Jordan Addison and Jackson Smith yes. and Jigba. Yes. And uh, even the young Buck Dotson uh, coming in right behind them. I like all three of those guys. They yeah, upside major, guys. Upside. Wide receiver major, fours, apparently. Major Give me that, baby. Yeah. Give me that. Um, I want to mention Gabe Davis real quick at 41. Now, I have if it wasn't for the impending probable uh, signing of Hopkins... I'd be about Gabe Davis. He played 90% of the snaps last year. He does one thing. He stands out right, out wide to the right, yeah. plays fucking Y, and runs down the field. That's it. But in that offense, he underperformed last year. Josh Allen was hurt. Dude, at this ADP, ooh, baby. Yeah. I'll, All about him. I'll have him wide receiver three every week. Take the Because I see him have a 96-yard touchdown a couple times. So do you want six points every single week out of your wide receiver three? I want Gabe Davis. Or do you want Gabe Davis, who's going to give you 18 or 3? I'll take 18 or 3 before I'll take 6 every fucking week. I want Gabe Davis. Um, McKenzie's gone, right? Yeah, They got a rookie tight end that I don't trust. They didn't throw to Knox last year. They're going to have a little bit better run game, which, again, should open up Gabe Davis, if I'm being honest. Diggs wants a bigger role. That doesn't hurt Davis, dude. That hurts whoever the wide receiver 3 is, in my opinion. Um, and again, take every piece you can get of good offenses. Point. Odell Beckham, fifty-four. I mean, I, I do like not. That. I do not think Odell is what he was. But if no. he if he is what we thought he was, yeah. right? They are who we they thought are they who were. they thought they were. Uh, if that is him, you got to steal. And his name demands targets. His friend brought him in. I'm saying, yep. if, at the very least, Lamar's gonna hook him up. He's going, at least starting the year until he yeah. realizes he can't play. So you might get a couple weeks, even though you're not yeah. playing him. But at least on the bench, you might have 14 points. Right. One week. One week. Okay. Uh, Tyler Boyd, you said you like. Darnell, Darnell Mooney, 58. Kind of like that. Rondell Moore, 59. I love The do-it-all. The this. do-it-all, right? He's uh, Tim Allen of, of uh, wide receivers. Yeah. Right? Like, he does it all. He's the tool time of wide receivers. He even, uh, he even tries to smuggle cocaine onto fucking uh, airport airplanes in, like, 1979. Oh, before shit. he was born. I love it. Anyone else you want to talk about before we end this? Um, there's one guy that 
Shit, there's two. Actually, I'm lying. There's Spit two. it out, bitch. I'm sorry. There's two I got I to gotta give recognition to. One is a uh, rookie wide receiver of the pod. Has the potential to become number one. In Mingo! The offense that's going to be throwing all day in the NFC scrote. Um, Mingo! That's our guy. I can't not mention yeah, him. Yeah, I got to mention Mingo. Deal with it, okay? Sorry if you don't like it or if we're wrong. He said sorry. And it, sorry. We're sorry. We're so sorry. <laughs> um... It's it's worth a shot this late. It absolutely is because you could be getting the number one wide receiver on that team. Uh, the other one, I think some people kind of forgot about uh, because of the was it Hodgkin's lymphoma, uh, John Mechie. That's my guy. Don't mention him. He's he's a great love him player, love right? Him. And love I'm looking at Mechie. I'm looking at teams that are going to be behind volume plays, teams with not. Great defenses, even though I love D'Amico, he's going to turn that defense around. It's going to take more than one year. Um, if Mechie is in full form, again, could be the wide receiver one on that team yeah. with a volume play. Yeah. So give me a bad team that throws a lot with the number one receiver on that team. I don't care if he's a rookie or a second-year rookie yeah, or whatever he is. Like I'm going to take my shot there. He's and also an Alabama receiver. I yeah, mean, that right? dude. I'm telling you, he can play. That's my logic behind Mechie and Mingo, though. Yep. There's, there's a path to they are the most targeted player on that field, and you're getting them at 170-something. Mechie, 186. Mingo, 173. Steals, dude. Steals. Steals. Last guy I want to talk about here is Joshua Palmer, one of my PPs last year. Everything was fucking laid out for him last year, right? Yep. Keenan Allen gets hurt. I mean, Herbert got hurt with it. He had to throw more. And he was thrust into some wide receiver two situations. He did not perform. He did okay, like 700 yards, maybe three touchdowns. I'm going to fact check that. But, like, I still like the player a little bit. And he's a wide receiver four there right now if we want to thrust in Quentin Johnson yeah. ahead of him. But wide receiver four is not bad in that passing offense. And if there's an injury or if Quentin Johnson, which I have notoriously bashed, does not pan out or cannot run a route. We've seen this happen with receivers before. Red shirts. Palmer's a three. He is going wide receiver 69. So you can do worse. I've been taking my last round of basketball all the time because he's going to have three, four touchdowns this year just based on being on the field a little bit. In that offense, we saw with Jalen Guyton a couple years ago. Guyton's back apparently, but ACL. He, he doesn't have that role because that's the – that's not that's not the role. Quentin Johnson has that role. Yeah. Who has the role of a possible third down guy, you know, spread formation? It's Josh Palmer, man. But to me personally, too many ifs. Don't okay. want it. There's one receiver sixty nine. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take one of the other higher upside guys. You I just to, shoot on my guy. There's two guys. Is this German poo porn? I am pooing all over your guy because there's oh. two guys I just named very close to him that could be the number one on their team, yeah. not the four. But, I'd rather have the one than the well, four. Well, I, I get what you're saying. Um, unfortunately, John Mechie's my guy, and you stole him from me. But so this, I mentioned him before on the pod. That's my this, guy. At this point, he's our guy. Okay, we yeah, share. He's We're our guy. children. Okay, guys only have one hole though. Like, they, I guess they have a mouth and an ass. Like, which one, one do you want? One, two, three, four, five, no? six. Yeah. <laughs> which one do you want? Mouth or ass? I just John wanna, Matthews, I just, mouth or ass? I just want to hug him. That's all I want to do. Just want to give hugs, bro. Because he did earn him. it. He did earn it. That's it. Rob's Roundtable. Thanks for watching. This is a blast. Hope you all had fun. Uh, I know we did. It's, we did. It's, uh, we always have fun. It's a fucking hoot over here. It's a hoot. Um, we were like, drinking. Like exactly, like subscribe. You should probably drink while you're watching. Uh, it's it. Uh, press actually, with us. no. You should take LSD because it's more of our speed. Like we don't do this yeah. on the pod, but like if I was watching, drop a smash, bro. All these bright colors. Dude, look at all, all this shit. Look at all this shit. We're having a good time. Hopefully, you love Nico. He's a great guy. We have fun around here. We'll see you in a couple weeks. <laughs> and it's been a complete joy. Oh. Geez, look at the butt on that. Yeah. He must work out.